Hi guys, welcome to Simply Frank Tech and Programming. So today we are going to check about Spring Boot logback for the log file archiving. So uh, basically, uh, there are different types of uh, logging mechanism available. Uh, in, in Spring Boot, uh, uh, the default one is a logback. By using logback, we can generate the log file, and uh, there are certain features where we can archive the log files and delete the log files. That uh, we are going to check. So, uh, logback is a uh, popular framework in the Java community uh, for, for Spring Boot. It's a replacement for its predecessor log4j. Logback offers the faster implementation than lo uh, log4j and it provides the more options of the configuration and flexibility in archiving and deleting log files. So, uh, basically this is the architecture of the logging file uh, where, uh, logback where uh, SLF4j is uh, we are using SLF4j libraries uh, for, for the logback. So basically there are three blocks of the logback. So one is a logger which is a class files in the application which interact to create the log messages. One is a appender that is in the logback which uh, creates the log messages and place into the like uh, text file. And the, uh, another one is a layout pattern. So layout is a formatting of log messages uh, using encoding. So in the in my log file, so what is the date format? I I can give I can give the uh, threads also. There are different types of log level. Uh, so these are the log levels in which a trace and debug uh, for that uh, we can define that into application dot properties or uh, our log by dot XML. So in order to like uh, start with uh, creating projects, so just go to uh, Spring's official website to create the sample Spring Boot project. So, uh, where we can generate the sample project of the Spring Boot. So, select the latest version of Spring Boot, Maven project, and uh, here uh, group name as a com and artifact name as a uh, Spring Logger Demo. So, just select the dependency as a default dependency of the Spring Boot that is Spring Web and select the java version as a 8 and packaging as a jar and say generate. So our uh, uh, Spring Boot project uh, is ready to save, so save it. Uh, so extract it here. Go to Eclipse and uh, import the Maven project. Yeah, so uh, we need to configure the logback. So logback support uh, XML based configuration to handle the Spring Boot log configuration. So logging. So let's create a logback.xml file. So which should be uh, present into the class path of the project. So so go to Eclipse and uh, so this is my class path. So SRC main resources is my class path. So right click. Say new XML. So I am copying this configuration. So I will tell you what is this configuration. So I have to define the appenders here. Uh, so this appender is an attribute of the XML file where we can define uh, uh, how, how the logback logs are generated. Okay. So this is the my std out appender where uh, we need to show the log into the console of the Spring Boot. So, so for that uh, I am using this and I am using this encoder. Okay, so encoder means uh, so I want to define the pattern of the log file that is uh, like uh, in, inside my log file. So first that uh, timestamp should be printed and then the my message should be printed. So this is the like a uh, pattern or you can say layout. So in order to archive uh, the log files according to the size and time. So I have defined this appender. Okay, inside my appender I am uh, defining the rolling file appender and I am mentioning the uh, log file path with the log file name. 
so with this name log file should be created and in this path it will be saved okay and this is the same encoder pattern so rolling policy now rolling policy uh, in order to archive so suppose my file uh, is getting generated as a 10 kb okay or after 10 kb it should be archived into some another folder okay so uh, so th so this is the like uh, file name pattern so we can give the archive file path and here also i i can give the like uh, date into the my log file uh, file file name okay so here the max size of the file uh, to start the archiving so after 10 kb so my uh, another file will be created and now the day still log history will keep so so this is the like maximum history time uh, like this this is like 3 days after 3 days uh, the old log files will be deleted and this is a, like a root level uh, attribute where i have to define my appenders okay so this is this appender i have defined here and whatever that uh, std out is i have defined it here so one more thing i required so in order to test this uh, i have to create one sample uh, rest class rest controller class uh, so so this is the sample rest class of the spring boot application so i'm creating one new rest controller say new class copy here so control shift o so we have to import the slf for your loggers okay replace the file name okay so like uh, this is my the uh, this i have created uh, to <coughs> add the logger uh, object so by using this object i am print or all the levels of the log okay this is the sample logging okay now just save it and uh, let's run it Okay, so my Spring Boot application uh, is uh, started on 8080 port. So just go to, so I have to like print uh, my loggers. So in order to print loggers, I have to initiate my REST calls. So just say localhost colon 8080 and say enter. Yeah, so our uh, Spring Boot application is running. So I got this message from the REST controller. Now let's see the logger. Yeah, so this log file is generated. So you can see there are uh, whatever the log files, we, uh, log uh, loggers we are given. So that are printed here, and uh, like a, a debug level log is printed here. So now uh, I have to archive my uh, log log files, right? So for this, uh, I have, I just have to like uh, hit the the rest call again and again so i'm just hitting my rest calls yeah so you can see after 10 kb so again the word 2 kb uh, log file is generated so so that log file is archived okay so exact size of the log file can be uh, like uh, that will uh, give the accurate uh, log files after 10 mb Okay, so after 10 MB, so if you give log file size greater than 10 MB in your configuration, so it will be give the exact size of the log files. Okay, yeah, so this way we can uh, archive also and we can, and uh, whatever the delete policy we have mentioned. So after that, uh, so it will be it will be deleted after three days. Okay, so yeah, in the conclusion, we we learned about the fundamentals of the log file into the application using loggers, appenders, and layout. So you can download the source code from the GitHub link. So link is provided in the video description also. Yeah, so that's it. So thanks a lot for uh, watching this video.